When personal property is partially damaged, the primary goal of damages is to restore the property to the state it was in prior to the damage. To this end, damages for the partial destruction of personal property are generally the difference between the property's market value immediately before and after the incident. But what if the value of the property prior to being damaged is less than the cost of repairs? Can a party recover damages to restore the property to its prior condition? The Fourth Circuit considered this question in Hewlett v. Barge Birdie. On November 11, 1958, Barge BA-1401 sank in the Chesapeake Bay near the mouth of the Potomac River. Following the foundering, the barge was raised and refloated by Latham Hewlett. However, the barge was declared a constructive total loss by its previous owner because its repair costs were estimated to be greater than its purchase price or market value. The barge was then salvaged by Hewlett for use as a pontoon in salvage operations. Notably, however, the barge had no market value and could only be sold for scrap. On September 28, 1960, the barge collided with Barge Birdie, a towboat owned by C.G. Willis Company in the Elizabeth River in South Norfolk, Virginia. The only damage to the barge was a dent in its starboard side, which didn't prevent its use as a pontoon. Subsequently, Hewlett sued Willis for reimbursement for damage to the barge in federal district court. At trial, Hewlett testified that the barge could be used for carrying telephone poles or other dry deck cargo, although it had never been used for this purpose. Nevertheless, both parties agreed that the dent didn't prevent the barge from being used for this type of transportation. Further, the dent didn't affect the barge's market value as scrap metal. Repairing the dent would cost approximately $2,895 but the expenditure wouldn't enhance the value of the barge or its usefulness to Hewlett. Following trial, the court only allowed Hewlett to recover $1 in nominal damages because the barge had previously been declared a total loss and no real damages had been shown. Hewlett appealed to the United States Court of Appeals for the Fourth Circuit.